Hello everyone, happy Friday. I am back with a fun little flip book. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this one because this reminds me a lot of one of the flip books that I had made and it was like a hit. I, I still get a lot of pins on it and um, messages. So it's a fairly simple one. I'm using double-sided paper, but it's too easy. Literally, if you don't have double-sided paper today, you're just covering the cover and the back. Everything else will be done for you. So it's just a couple sheets of paper. So you open it and I have this little side pocket here and then I couldn't resist using my new Coco and Reno dies for this month for the little handle. So you've got a little pocket up here and then when you flip it, I have a page. If you want, you can totally make a, like a pocket or put an envelope there. I kind of wanted to keep this simple I was actually getting a little more carried away with it than I wanted to because I wanted it to be really quick. But you'll see when we make this how simple you can make it if you don't want to do all these things. I have this little, you know, vellum page because, you know, I can't have an album without the vellum. And then this little just, uh, you know, some a pocket you can slide something in. And this is the fun surprise part is that, it, yes, they can still be flat mail and you can still uh, put something really cute inside of it. So again, I have another vellum pocket on the side if you want to tuck in something. And then like you would never know that there was something in here. So it's a great surprise for your snail mail or swaps, just some uh, ribbon. And then you see here, it's just a little like loose uh, page. And I'll show you the option alternative you can do. And then here I have a belly band and you can tuck in, you know, just uh, little things, goodies that you want inside there. And then at the end, I just have a little cute like file folder thing that I slipped in there. So it looks crazy, but it will take us minutes to make it and uh, you can make it as simple or hard as you want to. So I hope you guys, I think you guys are gonna like this one. Okay, I can't remember, it was the My Mind's Eye one, the Florally album, it was like blue and pink. People are crazy for it. So I wanted to try and update that album a different way, but kind of not the same. I can't remember if it's the same. I have to watch it, but I think the technique was different. Okay, so we're gonna start with a five by 12 paper. If you wanna adjust the height, you can do six by 12, four by 12, three by 12, doesn't matter. Everything else will be the same, okay? I'm just doing five because it's just like a nice height. So at the 12 inch score, we're gonna score it at five, five and a half, six, six and a half, and seven. Okay, so five, oops. Always on camera. Five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, and seven. And that's going to give us our little like binding inside, which is easy. The easiest way for me to make albums. So you can just pick, if you're using double sided paper, um, pick whatever side you want. If you're using single sided paper, um, Put the photo, the uh, image side inside, so you're only gonna have to do your cover. So let me see. I actually don't know which side I want to use yet. So let me just see this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fold my scores because we're gonna do two of these basically. So do your scores. So it should be. You should have this little book. And you're gonna have these two scores like that. Okay, so it's gonna be just like a, like an M. Okay, and then you can tape or glue it down. I think I'm gonna tape it today because I've been taping my albums lately. So just flip it and add tape into the little like divots. So that's just gonna be the first one. I'm just gonna close that. And you're gonna have your little thing right here. And I'm just gonna do the other one. Ah. Okay. So does anyone have plans for the weekend? I don't really have any crazy plans. Last it was crazy last week because like Valentine's and I had a thing for the kids. But um this is gonna be kind of mellow, I feel like, this weekend.
Okay, so you're gonna have these two little things and we don't have to do, you know, any crazy binding. Okay, so next, let's start with this front little page. Okay, let me see here, why did I write? Hold on, I gotta fix one of my measurements because I wrote six instead of a five. Okay, so next we're gonna take a five by 10 and a half paper. And at the 10 and a half inch score line, we're gonna score it at three and a half and 11. Sorry if that was zooming out. Okay, so move this little booklet aside for a second and score it at three and a half. Oop, did I say 11? <laughs> seven, seven, I'm sorry. So five, three and a half and seven. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and just fold it. Pick whatever, what, I guess if you're using single-sided, um, you're gonna just be doing the picture. If it's double-sided, you know, pick the paper you want. So we're gonna just fold it like this, okay? So it's just, you know, like an accordion. And this is where we're gonna go ahead and do our first little paper. So, well, let me pick where I want. So I'm gonna put in the middle, I'm gonna add a little pocket thing because that's where my pocket's gonna be. Okay, and now we have the option to decide if, so we're gonna basically just slip it on like this and it's gonna go like this, okay? Now this is the part where you have an option if you wanna make this a pocket or you can just leave it. It depends like what's on this side or what. But right here I had made my pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one more little side ring right here. And I'm gonna glue that down. So I'm gonna glue all this down or tape it. I'm gonna glue it just to make things speed up a little bit. So let me glue this first section right here. And I'm gonna put some on the bottom to make sure it's sealed. Oops, man, I am just dropping everything today. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and seal that first page up like that. This thing up so it's not rattling on me okay just use your bone folder make sure it's like really nice and creased on there because this thing does get thick as you build it up but it does make flat mail too it just depends how you build it okay and again if you want to leave this open go ahead and leave it open if you don't go ahead and glue the sides down so you have your little pocket right there So that part was easy, right? That's already our first little page. Okay, and then next, well, let me look at my little pile here. It's very hard to keep organized when you're doing so many um, like layers. Okay, so for this little section here, it was just a little card. It's just four by six. You can either fold it in half or score it at the three inch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and score it right here. And actually, I don't want that brown showing. I'm not a big brown fan. <laughs> if you notice, I don't really have a lot of brown in my things. So this is where your little card insert would go right here. If you wanna add that, if not, you don't have to put that there. You can add whatever you want. Let me just find a little something to add on there. Like a sticker. I'm just gonna put a little butterfly right there just to have something there for us. Okay, so then the next, again, this one gets pretty thick. So it's the only one, so when you're doing this album, you see how it's like sticking up right here? 
If you want, like, and you're mailing it, what you can do is you can take a little paper clip and just clip it on there, and it's really just simple. But that's probably the only really thick page in there. So let's go ahead and do the next page. Okay, so it's gonna be a five by 12, and at the 12 inch score line, we're gonna score it at four and a half and nine inches. Okay, so four and a half and nine. Okay, and this is gonna give us the big pocket. So, before we seal that up, we need to put our little vellum insert in there if you're doing that. So you're gonna just fold this big part back and then this part's gonna go on this side. And that's gonna be our little flap where the tag is hanging. And this is, the, again, another part where you have the option when we put it down like this, you can either leave it or you can make another pocket. So as you see, I added my vellum pocket in the back. Um, you know, I just added more so it would be more like interactive. But again, like if I didn't do this part, I would just have it as a pocket. So before we put this on, we need our little vellum piece. So the little vellum page is gonna be three, oh gosh, I feel like it's blurry, three and a half by five inches. And then at the five inch, we're gonna uh, line, just score it at a half an inch. So line it up at five inches and just score it at half an inch. I really enjoy making these flip books. They're so much fun. And I think a lot of you prefer the flip books. So after this, I wanna try and do like some fun little junk journal techniques. Now, it's not gonna just apply to junk journal, obviously. It's gonna to apply to, you can do it to mini albums, but I just wanted it to look kind of junk journal-y. So I hope you guys will enjoy that one too. Okay, so now that we have our little like fold thingy, it's gonna go on here, wherever you want it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue inside here. Okay, and I'm gonna glue it on right there. So before I glue this down, you definitely wanna make sure this is on first. Or if you don't have vellum, oh, just use a regular page, use a anything, use a doily, that would be super cute. Like in a junk journal, you can put a doily in there, fold it in half, you know. So now we can go ahead and glue this on. If you wanna do your little um, half moon on the top, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on. Let me, I like to do it on here because I know it's gonna be on there all the way. Again, I've been taping mine, but I'm gonna do my bottom. I've been taping it because I really feel like um, I get a little sloppy with the glue when I'm doing these kind of albums, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. Do you see how like easy it is? It looks so crazy, right? Like we did so many pages, but it's literally like two, three sheets of paper, that's it. Three sheets of paper I made this cute little album. Okay, let me just add a little sticker here. And I forgot to do some of my cutouts as usual. I'm just gonna add, no, I don't like that. <laughs> let me see what I got here. Maybe something simple. Okay, so, and then right here, I just added a simple little like three by four journaling card. Ooh, I ordered so, okay, so I have a little haul I've been wanting to show you guys. Um, just kind of have it to the side, but I have a couple more things coming in and I can't wait. There's so many good things uh, right now that are coming out or like just now released. So I'm really excited to work with some of those. Okay, so I'm just gonna just stick that journaling card on here. Now, ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I was just gonna say, if you want, you can score this a, half, a quarter inch and make it like a little flip. So that would add something, or again, you can add another pocket here. So we have this, and then I just kind of left that blank because this was so beautiful, I didn't even want to touch it. 
Sometimes you gotta leave the paper because the paper is just too pretty. Or cover it up. And then, sorry, I'm trying to dig through all my stuff. Okay, so this is just a three by five paper that I put an eyelet in and I corner rounded it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that right in here. And I didn't mean for that to be the same color. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, and then next page is gonna be, hold on, I need to put something here because it's just too plain for me. Okay. So the next page we flip here. I'm gonna put that on a little wonky. Okay, and then we're gonna do this pocket right here. Okay, oh, I forgot to say, for those who are doing the cover, the front cover, you're just doing a five by five paper, front and back. So in my original book, um, where I had done a flip book, I actually put a sheet of vellum over it to make it softer. So that's a trick for those who are using double-sided paper and want a different look. And if you haven't seen the album, what I did is just take a sheet of vellum and glue it very, very lightly and smudged it out and made it my top cover because it makes it like soft. So it just depends what you want, but that's just an option. But again, if you are you don't have double-sided paper, the front piece is five by five and the back is five by five. Okay, so back to this. I didn't want to forget that. So the side vellum pocket is just going to be three and a half by five inches. I didn't score it or anything. I'm just literally gluing it on. So I'm just going to glue it on. Three or you can tape it. I think I taped that pocket. Some of them I taped, some of them I glued. Just glue it three times around. And then put it on there. Definitely trim mine just a little bit. Let me take this out. I must have went over just a little bit, so let me just fix that. Okay, let me put this pocket back in, or the slip in the pocket. And then next, I just put a simple little journaling card again with a little tab on the side and just put that in there. And then here is, I didn't wrap the ribbon because I figured you can, that's self-explanatory, but I just cut out two tags and then you can wrap washi or ribbon. And I didn't put this on really good. I have a glue dot on there, but another idea, because you want them to take it off and get what they're getting off of there. So an idea to do would be to use some Velcro, um, like little, you know, dots so they can peel it on and off. Right now, just for the tutorial, I'm using just some glue dots right here and just sticking them on. But I would definitely use Velcro if you're gifting it to someone. So you have it like that. I feel like I need to back this up a little bit. Okay, and then this last page here, last two pages. This is just a simple little um, belly band, which is just one and a half by five inches. And you can just glue or take that on. And why does this look over? I made it a little bit over five inches. Okay, and then what else do I have over here? Okay, so for this little, uh, just for fun, I what I had done is just take a little. Um, you know, just a little piece of vellum and just cut it out. And I used my, um, where is it? I can't, <laughs> sometimes I just can't believe the things I lose on my desk. 
my huge wonky stapler. So I did it pretty old school and I just took it. And if you don't like this look, you don't have to do this. But I took my stapler and I just put it on there because I thought it kind of gave it like that junk journal look for those who are doing that. And just tuck it in there. And then I also had added a little like envelope from one of my In Love Art Shop dies. So I put that in there too. Okay, so you got this going on. And then this last page is just a little folder pocket and that's two and three quarters by five inches. Again, I didn't score it. I just laid it really flat to make this easy. You can do it. Because you know, I tried to keep this flat for snail mail. Made a really simple pocket. Oh goodness. Sometimes it's hard to aim. Okay, and then for the little folder file, if you want to do that, and I've done these before, it's just a four by six paper and you just fold it in half. Um, And I just, you can either score it at the three inch or fold it in half. I like to score it just to keep it clean. And then, and then take a little like tab right here and just glue it on there. I'm just gonna glue it on the inside here. And I can just stick it. Oh, my glue is just like coming off. I didn't, this is why I use tape sometimes. So there you go. So this is our pretty album. And look, I forgot to show you this. So you can see it's pretty like flat, especially if you don't put the uh, ribbon in. But let's just go through real quick. So we have our first little page here. And I forgot to punch this out. I'm sorry about that. But hold on, let me put something in the front. I don't have a lot of um, dies to this one. I really desperately need. The last few tutorials I've had, I have been running out of everything because I haven't been really ordering. I usually go to Tuesday morning, but they don't have that much lately. So anyway, um, let me put my little tag in the top right here. So your first page for your pockets, and then you flip here, and then you have your little vellum, and then you have your little top pocket with your little insert in there. You should turn it and have your little side pocket with your little tab or whatever you put in there. Your cute little extra, and again, if you want this to be a pocket, you can. Your little like ribbon holder or washi holder. And then last page is your belly band and then your little file folder at the end. So here's the fun little flip book. I really, really, really like this one. I think this is fun and easy, and you know, you can switch it up, and I'm sure uh, you guys will have a good time with this one. All right, guys, I hope you have a lovely weekend, and thank you so much for joining me.